So this is my uh, room that I remodeling in the basement. As you can see here, I'm using LVP. Okay, and you can see that I actually put here already next to the door, here, and here, and here. Let me go close to it, show you the way it looks. So it's maintained a quarter of an inch from the wall here, and I don't have a baseboard. I remove all the baseboard. But really what I want to talk about is how to install the LVP randomly and accurately and how to uh, overcome some issues uh, with LVP. I already have a, a movie that uh, show how to start installing uh, LVP. You can look at it and also I have movies, couple of them, how to install uh, around the uh, doors, jam, and uh, closet, and around some obstacles. So these are the tools that I'm using. This is called a set square, and this is a measurement tape with TDT tools. One pull bar, that's a long pull bar, especially for LVP. And this is punk and grog tapping block. Block tap. Tap block is called. And this is a knife, utility knife, which I cut with. This is a mallet. And this is a piece of LVP that I will use frequently to, in order to help me to install properly the LVP. And there is another machine here, if you see, sometimes I'm using it, but you have to use it with a vacuum cleaner. Okay, now what I want to talk about is this package I actually bought uh, from uh, Home Depot to help you. If you install LVP, it's nice to buy this kind of package. And you have your pull bar, as you can see here, the pull bar, and the, here is the tap block that you have. And you have a lot of uh, shims. I don't really use shims, but it's okay. So this is the package that you can buy from uh, Home Depot. Also, buy this one. This is a really interesting tools it's called tongue and grow a tapping block as you can see here and this one you use you have to be careful you have to uh, put it above the grove these are the lvp that i'm actually using the company called seren b okay and uh, it's actually 48 inches by 7 inch as let me show you that it's called It's called Seren B Cottage Pine Blanch. Okay. What nice in this uh, LVP, as you can see that one, first is five millimeter, 5.5 millimeter, but you also have a moisture barrier here. Okay, kind of a rubber, that's so you don't need to put any rubber here when you're working uh, on plywood or when you're working on uh, concrete as I'm working here. So I just put here a number of LVP plank as you can see here, and you can see the difference between the color of the LVP. So what I want to tell you is that you have to really mix it from different packages. Otherwise, it's going to look weird. If you can look here, you can see some places are bright color, some are darker color. So it's better to mix the color that uh, it's going to look uh, kind of a nice uh, flow more evenly than uh, you putting in one place only bright color and another place only dark color. So that's the way I did it. What I did, I actually cut four pieces of LVP and the uh, offset between, between of them is actually 12 inch or one foot as you can see here. And it's actually started with uh, four and then you go to 16 and then you go to uh, 28 etc and that's the way you really start to install this lvp they will be randomly running on this floor like if you look here okay you can it's going to be very, very difficult to figure out what is the pattern here okay it's it's always impossible okay so you always start building triangle like that. And I actually using a 12 inch, you can use a eight inch. So you can uh, cut this LVP 
using this machine or other machine uh, or using uh, a knife, a simple utility knife, that's what I'm using. Okay, there is other machine that you can buy from uh, Home Depot or Lowe's to cut it, but uh, it costs a lot of money. Uh, using a utility knife, it's uh, very easy and you can look at the uh, YouTube. I have a movie for that also, how to cut uh, LVP. So before you install LVP, you have to check it, you know, just uh, give them a check, you know, like some of them come with defect. Let me show you. Here it's one of them, it comes with defect. Now, some of them come with a problem with the tongue, okay, and the groove, and the tongue and the, and the groove. So you have to look carefully, and some of them even have, doesn't have a very, uh, what is called, 90 degrees corners. I can show you another one that is, doesn't have 90, this, this have 90 degrees, but let me show you another one. So if you look here, you can see there is a defect here, which means the corner is not 90 degrees exactly. And here another place. So let you know that you just check it because not all the LVP are perfect. Some of them have broken tongue. So you have to be very careful when you actually uh, put the, before you put the LVP, just check the LVP to see if it's, everything is, uh, is correct with it. So these uh, four LVP, as you see here, are already cut. But there is remain here of them, okay? You can see the remain. You should not throw the remain. This remain will be used in the other place here. At the end of this line, we're going to use the remain of the LVP. So if you throw this LVP, you basically you're going to buy uh, twice that you need. So that's very important. So let's continue with uh, what we're doing here and I just want to show you how exactly how to install this LVP. So if you look carefully here on this uh, LVP, you can see a groove here, okay, that the tongue will go in. Okay, if you go in here, you can see it's continue until the end. Okay, so first thing you need to check if the groove is not dirty. You, should, you shouldn't have any, any debris, any debris inside it. So what I'm doing here, I'm taking the LVP and I take the tongue of the LVP and I put it inside the groove. Okay. Okay, so now it's in the groove. So now what I have to do, I have really, okay, I took it out now, I put it again. Okay, and now I really have to push it in. You have to push it in. And then you can slide it. If it's slide like that, that's good. It's inside properly. And now what you're doing, you just move it until you reach the wall and leave it down. That's it, it's inside. Okay? It's the same thing you're doing with the other LVP. You take the LVP and you put the tongue, which is here, in the groove. Okay? And you press it. You press a little bit strong even. And then you can see if it's moved slightly. Let's say everything is inside. You move it until the wall here. And then you push. And you leave it. And you don't even need to use the mallet here. It's done. And you take the third one here. Okay. You put it again in the groove. And you push it. That's it. Take this one, that's a small one. You put it in the groove and you move it slightly. That's in. So that you finish. That's Let me show from cross proximity the way it looks. You can see you don't even see where is the space. It's actually here, but you don't see it. Because you press it. You see here the same thing. You cannot figure out where is the seams. Where is the contact? Where is the place where there is a contact between the LVP? You cannot see it, and that's the way it should look. So now I'm taking this LVP. I'm checking everything is good with it. It's look very good. So now I'm going to actually install it. Okay. So what I'm doing now is I'm doing the same. I'm actually taking this LVP, the tongue, and I just put it. You see here, and I push it strong, and then. I move it to the other LVP here. 
okay and then I leave it like that okay now I need to use the mallet for it okay so now you can see what I have here I have here an LVT that actually should go inside to this click with it latch with it this one I have to use the mallet here so So it's perfectly in, but you know what? I can actually push it more in if necessary. And let me show you how. This tool, this tool called tapping block, it's quite, quite a useful tool. And as you can see, you have a groove here. And you really put it on a groove here of the LVP, okay? Because there was also groove here, okay? And what you're doing here, you put it here, okay? And then, it doesn't really hit the groove, it hit the LVP on the top. And you're taking, you're taking a, a mallet and you tap it. What it does, it push the LVP to the other LVP. Let's go to the other LVP. What you want to do, you want to take the mallet and just... Even with the angle, and that's it, it's finished. Okay. So after you finish it latch, you take your finger here and you pull it. It has to be smooth. If it's not smooth, meaning you did not really pull it in properly and you really have to tap it. Okay? So that's it, we finish here. I just pick another LVP and you can see it's already defect. But we can actually use it Let's see if you can use it, because some of them, even with this kind of crack, you can really use it. Okay, so this is another another uh, LVP that I'm taking here. You can see I'm actually switching colors all the time. What I will do, I will put it again here, just make sure everything is clean. Okay? Put it in the groove. And I push it. I really push it inside. And I move it to the other LVT and then I let it go down okay and now I need to use the mallet here you can see to close it so here's the mallet and the mallet you can see sometimes you have to hit it strongly okay now it's perfect okay but now I want to show you something so if you look here carefully, you can see it's not fully in. You see it's not fully in. And also, there is a space here. Okay? And a bit space here. So what we need to do, we need to push it now. We need to push this LVP inside. Let me show you how I'm doing it. Okay, so this piece of LVP, as you can see here, it's kind of useless, but it's very useful to use it here in order to push to push the LDP in so what I'm doing, I put it see what I'm doing, I'm taking this tongue and I put it in the groove see it can move and I use this mallet to try to press it in as much as I can it's a difficulty to go in. Okay, so you can see that one work most of the time, this, but it didn't push it until the end. So we're using these tools. Okay, it's called tongue and groove tapping block. Okay, and we put it on the groove. Uh, we don't want to break the groove here. And we just tap it. already gone inside okay perfect so now you can see how much we use but let me show you how it went inside look now you can see how nicely it's inside we push it inside properly so these tools that it's called tongue and groove tapping block work perfectly under certain situations.
Here is my son try to install one. Let me show you. You see, first put it in the groove and then it start moving it. Okay, move it until the end. It's good. And now use the mallet. And now using the mallet. That's it. So easy. You see here, if you look at it, you can see, you can see here, it's not exactly in. It's look like in, but it's not exactly in 100%. Okay? So what we're doing, we're taking these tools, okay? Tools, we put it here, you see, on the groove. Okay, and then we actually just knocking it. You can see now it's perfectly in. So now if you look at it here, you think it's perfect. But look carefully, there is a maybe a half a millimeter or something space. You can see. So this space meaning that it does not lock until the end. Okay, if you look here, you can see there is a little bit different between that and this. This is very important to correct it. And the way to correct it is using these tools that you can see here. So what I'm doing here, I'm actually putting these tools and this tool called Grove, Grove uh, Tapping Block. I put it here. And then I will push this LVP to this one. And I really will need it strongly. Okay? And I want to show you the result. So if you look carefully here, you won't find the space anymore. It's very difficult even to see if there was a, if there is a space here. Here there, is a simple, here there is a very, very small gap, we're going to close it also. So I'm taking these, these two, tapping block, I put it here, on the groove. Okay, and I'll start tapping it. Okay, let's go and see what happened there. As you can see, it's closed perfectly. That's it. So here we need to... Uh, install the LVT to fill up these spaces here that you can see and we're going to fill them with this LVP as you see here and these LVPs are actually the remain of the LVP that we cut there remember in the beginning so here we're going to use them so that's why I said to you before do not throw them because otherwise you're going to lose a lot of material and cost you a lot of money so that's the way to do it so I will continue putting, installing this AVP and I'll show you the end result. And by the way, if you want to know how to start or how to install under doors, I have quite a few win uh, videos that will show you how to install LVP around door jams and in closets.